The tale of two different ballparks, Fenway, where it is all quiet and will stay that way for a while. But if you head west to Worcester, things look a little different. Yeah, the offices at the Worcester Red Sox are busy. And as WBZ's Rachel Holt shows us, Fenway's loss right now is Worcester's gain. <laughs> The ticket office has been busy at Polar Park. The phones have been really hot, and then we've noticed a really uh, big uptick in terms of online traffic as well. As the Worcester Red Sox gear up for opening day on April 12th, last year interest was strong following the team's move to Worcester. We were sixth out of 120 minor league baseball teams last year in our first year, and that was with a partial capacity at the start of the season. And now, as the first two series of the MLB season are canceled, minor league teams like the Woo Sox are ready to step up to the plate with a schedule unaffected by the MLB lockout. Since the announcement, we've seen an uptick in April and May, especially opening day sales. For us, it's really kind of um, all systems go. I would describe it as almost status quo. Uh, we're going to have baseball here starting on April 12th. We're going to have a busy and hopefully successful season. Local businesses are excited to welcome back game day crowds, including vendors in the nearby Worcester Public Market. On a game day, we might see 25 to 30 percent increase in business. On a really nice day, we might see 50 percent. It's been great as far as economic development goes, um, and just it brings those people to those businesses. They check it out. They want to grab a drink or grab food before or after the game. For all the fans looking forward to coming to the ballpark, new this year will be additional seating currently under construction behind the right center field wall called Poppy's Power Alley. That'll be a 34-seat porch, but the whole outfield perimeter of the ballpark is going to largely be a new area and uh, offer people, I think, some additional amenities when they come here to the ballpark. Rachel Holt, WBZ News.